How is the separation level and safety perception between cyclists and other street users? At the lowest level, we see minimal separation with dominant hazardous behavior. Here, cyclists share the road with other street users, facing significant risks due to a lack of dedicated infrastructure. Next up, we have occasional separation but with hazardous street design. While there are some separate lanes, they're inconsistent and often still dangerous. These streets need a more systematic approach to ensure safety. Moving forward, proactive separation with improved street design shows a positive trend. Cyclists have dedicated paths, and safer alternatives are provided, but there's still room for improvement. At the advanced stage, frequent separation and safety-encouraging design become the norm. Main routes are built with cyclists in mind, fostering safer behaviors from all street users. Finally, the gold standard comprehensive separation, and a culture of safety. Here, cyclists enjoy dedicated paths in all critical areas, supported by a well-planned safety culture. Even better are cycle streets where cyclists have priority over car drivers. This is Chapter 3 of the Self-Assessment Tool of the International Cycling Community of Practice.